Uh, the cloudy day didn't cast a shadow over the eclipse excitement here in the Delaware Valley. Yeah, I still managed to capture it. Crowds still gathered to capture a peak at the partial eclipse in our area. Satellite imagery captured the lunar shadows sweeping over the country yesterday. Check that out. Those in the path of totality who witnessed the phenomenon in person say the energy was electric. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live at Will's Eye Hospital, where there may be a spike in people wondering if they've done some damage from gazing up without the proper glasses, Catherine. That's right. Uh, you know, after the fact, eye doctors do get calls from concerned patients. Chances are you're fine, but if you are concerned, reach out to your doctor. It's like kind of like a cookie with a bite taken out of it. Like the little one. Looks like the moon is moving to the sun. I saw that huge uh, cloud coming over, so I just like kept looking at it and you know tried to sneak in like those little pockets. We wish that the clouds hadn't come to cover it right at the critical moment of the peak viewing, but it was nice to have everybody on campus together and in one spot. From college campuses to elementary schools, the Franklin Institute and beyond, people stopped what they were doing yesterday afternoon and gazed at the sky. Millions of people were in the path of totality where the moon completely blocked the sun. We had a partial eclipse in our area, and while the clouds did hamper some viewing efforts, many eventually caught a glimpse. We spoke a lot about not looking directly at the eclipse without glasses, but some might find that their eyes are bothering them or feeling a little funny, even if they were wearing the protective glasses. Don't panic, your eyes are probably fine. In the unlikely chance of more serious damage, you would likely have started to experience the symptoms already, including blurriness, headaches, a blind spot in your central vision, distorted vision like a straight line looking curvy, or colors look different to you. As for the next total solar eclipse in the U.S., it won't be until March 30th, 2033, and it only includes Alaska with a partial solar eclipse over most of the country. In 2044's U.S. eclipse, totality will only occur over North Dakota and Montana. Another with a broader U.S. path will occur in August 2045. So people wanted to take advantage of this one. It's almost like a once in a lifetime thing. I mean, the next one is going to be what? In the next 21 years. And you might now be wondering what to do with your leftover eclipse glasses. You can always donate them. There are multiple organizations. Astronomers Without Borders, for example, collected tens of thousands of glasses for distribution in South America, Asia, and Africa after the 2017 eclipse. If you choose to recycle them, remove the lenses, and recycle the cardboard. We're live in Center City, Catherine Scott, Channel 6 Action News. All right, Catherine, thanks so much. So how would you rate your eclipse experience? Five being, oh my God, it was super, super fantastic. <laughs> Number one being, eh, yeah, sort of whatevs about it. By the way, mine was 3.5. Right now, I guess the audience average is four, so mm. pretty darn good. Share your vote on 6abc.com slash poll.